All right, uh, so we want to move on here and start talking about uh, angle pair relationships. Then we're going to get into polygons. Again, just trying to build this foundation for, uh, for geometry. So we've been talking about angles. Uh, we've used the angle addition postulate and the idea of an angle bisector to help us find angle measures, and we've been classifying angles. Now, if we can uh, identify some special types of angle relationships, that'll go a long way in helping us find angle measures as well. Um, and then we're going to get into classifying polygons, which a lot of that's going to be, I think, review for you. So um, some quick definitions for you. Complementary angles, two angles whose sum is 90 degrees. Um, if that's the case, then we talk about the two angles complementing each other. Okay. Um, supplementary, if you remember way back in the day when you talked about supplementary angles, if complementary angles add to 90, then supplementary angles are going to uh, add up to 180. Okay? And then we have the idea of adjacent angles. Adjacent angles are two angles that share a common vertex and side. They've got to share a common vertex and side. Okay? So um, some examples of complementary and supplementary angles when they can be and when they are adjacent and not adjacent. Complementary and supplementary angles do not have to be adjacent, right? Any two angles anywhere in the known universal space are going to be complementary if they add to 90, and they're going to be supplementary if they add to 180, okay? Um, if they are adjacent, Okay, if two complementary angles are adjacent, they share this vertex. Um, get this thing here. And then they share this side. Then they, uh, they are adjacent, and they have to add to 90. Then they do form a right angle, right? So you can always identify complementary angles by if there are two angles that form a right angle. Um, you can identify them that way as well. Now, again, they don't have to be adjacent. They can just be two separate angles floating around that happen to add to 90 degrees. Now, with supplementary angles, it's important to understand that uh, when they are adjacent, so these guys right here, okay, those are adjacent. They share a vertex and a side. Um, they add to 180, so they come together and they form... And what I hope you're sitting there thinking about is a straight angle, right? Um, and we're going to talk a little bit more about that in just a second, okay? Uh, but again, supplementary angles do not have to be adjacent. They can just sort of be floating around as long as they, are at, as long as they add to 180, all right? Uh, 